The most common symptom of peripheral artery disease? Leg pain when walking. Dr. S. Wayne Smith, director of the Vascular Diagnostic Center at Rex, says those people are lucky because many don't even know they have PAD. The, one of the problems with PAD is that half the patients don't have symptoms. And if you don't have symptoms, you might not know that PAD can be an indicator of a more serious underlying problem. When you find PAD, there's a high likelihood that you've got carotid or heart disease. So PAD in and of itself is not generally life-threatening, but it's a marker, a potent marker, that you've got to have your heart checked and you've got to have the carotids checked. So should you be checked? The answer is yes if you have a history of any of the following. High cholesterol, diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, obesity, or if you're a smoker over the age of 50. And everyone over the age of 70 should be screened regardless of medical history. Dr. Smith says there's no reason you shouldn't. It's so simple to find. Comparing the blood pressure, the systolic pressure, the top pressure in the ankles to the pressure in the arms, and the pressure in the ankles should be at least as high as in the arms. Dr. Smith says your primary care physician can refer you to his clinic if those numbers don't compare. So our program is kind of unique in that we can identify the problem. If you're a good candidate for medical treatment and no intervention, we know how to do that. If you'd be better served with a balloon angioplasty or stent, we send you down the left lane. If you need an open surgical procedure, we could send you down the right lane. So it's a multidisciplinary approach and trying to put the disease with the right physician. And all those physicians are right here? Yeah.